Oh, what just happened, baby? What happened? We crashed down. You crashed <laughs> down. Who'd you crash with? Christine. <laughs> Good morning everyone and welcome to day one of Daily Till Baby. I can't believe we've made it to Daily Till Baby already. It means that it is the 1st of May today and I'm 35 weeks, 3 days pregnant. What game are you wanting? A ducky one. A what one? A ducky. A ducky one? Ducky one. Well, you show me which the ducky one is. That one. Ducky one. Okay. Where's the ducky? Ducky's up there. I don't like that one. You did that. Is that the one you wanted? That's the one. Don't move. The most annoying cat. app ever. Don't get it. Anyway, um. Do the cat. You do the cat. I am so excited to say that I am having a baby this month. That is just crazy to say. I cannot believe I'm having a baby this month. Is Mila coming out this month? Yep. Is she coming out of mummy's tummy? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so um, we've got a minimum of a week and a bit till she comes out and a max of four weeks. So um, <laughs> it's not long at all. Roman, it's time to get dressed now, baby. You want to come choose some clothes? Mm. If you want to go to grandma's, you need to have clothes on. Mm. This kid hates to get dressed and it drives me nuts every morning. It's a major struggle, so wish me luck. Right, come to your drawer and choose a pair of pants out. What pants do you want to wear? You come choose. Hmm? You come choose some pants. Uh, well, if you don't choose them, mummy will choose them out for you. Well, mummy will choose your pants for you then. Well, today's struggle to get rum right dressed actually didn't end up being too bad today. Um, we're going to do some painting. Well, he's going to do some painting while I try and clean up a little bit. I'm just trying to get on top of all the cleaning. I'm a bit of a clean freak but um, I'm trying to get on top of all the cleaning so that when Mila arrives I don't have to think about it. Um, but yeah finding activities to do every day for Roman's hard but um, that's where Pinterest is awesome because there are so many ideas on Pinterest for toddler activities so I definitely recommend like um, going on there and making a whole board of just toddler activities like I have. But before Roman was allowed to do painting, he had to pick up all the pens he chucked everywhere. Good boy, thank you very much. Can I painting? Yes, you can. So what are you painting? What's your picture of? Do Mila's room? Do Mila's room? Oh, yep. Mila's room's already painted, baby. Mummy did it. Oh, you did it. Yeah, Mummy did it. So Let's do this here. It's Mummy's picture that she did yesterday, eh? That's your hair. That's your hair. So I drew Daddy, Mummy with Mila, and Roman. That's my cool kind of drawing with legs that look like a four year old did them, but you know, that was my best shot at the time. <laughs> it's now midday, taking Roman to Sprouts. Let's get my shoes on. Um, he has Sprouts at his grandma's. Um, it's basically in home childcare, and in New Zealand, you're subsidised like. Nine hours under three, and over three is subsidised to up to 20 hours. So it's just for a bit of sanity. Um, before he was at his grandma's, which has only been two weeks now, he went with one of my friends, and she had four boys. I'm doing the sprouts and home childcare. So, and I think that's why Roman's so advanced with his talking, is because he's been constantly surrounded by. Um, 
kids that are uh, like a year older than him so and I think it's really good for him and good socialization so um he goes to Sprouts for that and to give me a bit of a break what a beautiful sunny day seriously we're um in autumn down here in the southern hemisphere and um it's getting colder it's definitely getting cold it doesn't seem that long ago that I was painting Mila's room and we had that week of like 32 degrees and that sucked bad it was so hot and I was pregnant and sitting in front of the fan it sucked um yeah so it's getting pretty cold now um, okay so I just bent down to because some of the blocks for the letters for my stomach um Roman has thrown under the bed so I bent down to grab them under the bed and I stood up and I got the same flashing lights to do with my blood pressure sorry if you didn't see me right then um I just got like heaps of them in my eyes right then like they're like little lights but they move like everywhere like this and I was like oh shit <laughs> this isn't good because I, I got them the other day and my blood pressure was high and that's why I went to the hospital and my blood pressure was kind of borderline high and they let me go home um but they lasted like a good 30 seconds this time like I was just standing there going waiting for them to go away and they just would not go away it took like a good 30 seconds and I was just like oh crap for me I'm like trying to force myself to let them know when I get these visual disturbances because it's a sign my blood pressure is high but like I've got to force myself to do it because I I hate the drama that surrounds it you know like I hate them being all like oh you've got to go to the hospital and I don't know I just I hate putting attention on myself I mean I know I'm having a baby and I know my blood pressure is high and I've got to watch that um and the signs which is headache and the visual disturbances um but I, just, I don't I feel like I always make it I hate how do I how do I explain this I hate like making it seem like I'm trying to make myself sick do you know what I mean like I that's why I think I always wait till the very last minute when I'm really sick to go to the hospital because I'm just like oh it's not that bad you know there are people worse out there and <laughs> I'm just putting some of the last little bits away into Mila's um hospital bag right now it's kind of like it's like a ritual you know like that you feel extra special when you get to put together a hospital bag because when you're infertile and you think you're never gonna have a baby it's kind of like it's like having a baby shower you can only have a baby shower if you're having a baby you can only make a baby hospital bag if you're gonna be birthing a baby you know like it just is it's like something really extra special and so putting together this hospital bag for Mila is like pretty emotional for me really like I just cannot believe that I get to put a hospital bag together for a baby for a second time and it's just I just feel really lucky really so it's just pretty exciting um, I'm just trying to fit it all kind of in here doing this makes it seem very well so yeah it's kind of like a, a special little ritual I think special little ritual that you only get to do if you're having a baby so it makes it extra special especially like I said if you've gone through infertility and it's something you've been waiting for for a, like a really long time so I'm not gonna be able to zip that up with one hand that's my birth to earth kit so I'm gonna put that there I need to put everything in one place so my husband knows to grab it otherwise he'll just panic and not know what the heck he's grabbing Nothing is gonna be too big that's all right i'm doing some that's editing me, right now i actually hate hearing the sound of my own voice so. like chop them and resew them so it'll fit so you'll be watching this one very soon because um well you might have already seen it because i'm uploading this because i asked on facebook which one you want to see first and this the hospital bag one is the one you want to see first so i'm just editing that right now it's nearly finished um and then i'll upload it it'll probably take friggin hours and then um I'm not sure when I'm gonna get this video up I'm either gonna have to do it like really late tonight or it's gonna be like a day behind like today 
will be tomorrow's upload. Tomorrow's upload will be the day after kind of thing. Not sure, I haven't figured that out yet. But um, yeah, so I've just been uploading, uh, uploading, I've just been editing now. Um, started editing another wedding video, their full wedding video. I've done their highlights one already. Um, and then once that video is done, I've got to burn it to DVD, send it off. And then I've got another wedding to edit. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, what if this baby like arrives like next week or something i'm like freaking out like how am i gonna get it all done uh, so um i'm gonna keep editing this and then i'm gonna figure out what we're gonna have for tea i reckon sausages eggs and chips sounds really good right now and this is the reason why i might be a little more overweight than i need to be in pregnancy oreos <laughs> what are you watching Finding Nemo. Do you like Finding Nemo? Do you like Finding Nemo? Yeah? <laughs> Just gonna stare at me? Okay, I'll leave you to watch your movie then. Don't know what that was about. Sits down at the table. What does he do? Pukes on himself. <laughs> well, who puts it right on the edge of the plate? <laughs> who leans on their plate? All I did was sit down. It actually looks like baby puke. Just preparing myself for the future. <laughs> Seriously though, who puts it on there? What did Daddy do? Daddy puked himself. <laughs> Daddy puked on himself. Daddy puked on himself. Daddy puked on himself. <laughs> Eating by myself, as usual, because Roman always has to take a piss right at dinner time. Oh crap! <laughs> what do you say? After a fart. No, what do you say after a fart? Please. No. You say pardon me. Pardon me. <laughs> so he knows how to do it after a bit, but... Sit up properly, please. Are you finishing your tea? Yep. Or are you... Because remember, if you don't, you go to bed and you won't get a bath or any stories. No, my mom's not in the bath. My mom's not in the bath. Is she? Yeah. And what are you gonna have then? Uh, a shower. Okay. So I'll have a bath and you have a shower. And we'll have a bath and a shower. Yeah. yeah. What just happened, baby? What happened? We crashed down. You crashed <laughs> down. Who'd you crash with? Fresh daddy. Fresh daddy. Fresh daddy. You say, daddy sconed me in the face with a vase. Yeah. You say that, daddy sconed me in the face with a vase. Mm. What happened? Water went everywhere. You show, you show, you show everyone on the camera what happened. You show them. What happened, baby? Water. 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 Yeah, how did the water get there? What is it sweet? Go on the lounge for a cuddle. Yeah. I feel real bad. I didn't mean to. Oops. So that hit his head. I hear it's only thin, thin glass. And like it was all around his eyeball. But we think we got all of it out. We've given some some pamo. And he's quite happy. He just wants cuddles on the couch now, eh? Yeah? I can't kill. Yeah. That, that okay. killed bedtime. Yeah, that killed bedtime, definitely. Oh well, it could have been worse. <sighs> Alright, that's going to end my vlog for tonight. Um, I've had a bath. Roman's had a shower. Martin's gone our child in the head and just about sliced his face open. But hey, you know, we're all good. So, And tomorrow is my 26th birthday. And, oh, and I also have to go to hospital. So we'll see how that goes.